It all began with a whisper from the very edge of our solar system, a silent pulse of light captured by one of NASA's deep space telescopes. At first, astronomers chalked it up to another routine cosmic traveler, just a stray fragment drifting through the immense void. But within days, data pouring into Harvard S Minor Planet Center started painting a completely different picture, one that would shake the scientific world to its very core. Because what they found wasn't a single object, it was an armada. NASA's tracking arrays quickly confirmed the unbelievable. Nearly 4,000 smaller bodies fragments and glowing trails were moving in perfect synchronization with the interstellar object known as 3i Atlas, the same mysterious visitor scientists had been watching since it first crossed into our solar system. No comet, no asteroid had ever behaved like this. Each piece of debris followed a precise formation, as if guided by an invisible hand, shadowing 3i Atlas like a celestial escort. At first glance, it just looked like a random scattered swarm of dust and rock. But when orbital simulations were run, a chilling reality emerged. These objects weren't just following. They were aligning. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory described the configuration as mathematically improbable. Researchers at Harvard went even further, calling it a self-organizing phenomenon never before recorded in the history of astronomy. The news sent shockwaves through the global scientific community. Was this just a strange, natural gravitational clustering? A comet that had fragmented in a peculiar way? Or was it something far more complex? Something designed? For weeks, space agencies hesitated to make any public statements. The data was simply too bizarre, the implications too vast. And then, they found the pattern. Each of the 4,000 bodies seemed to pulse in brightness at rhythmic, coordinated intervals. It was almost like a sequence. When the readings were cross-checked with logs from NASA's deep space network, the timing of these pulses matched, down to the millisecond, with energy fluctuations coming from 3i Atlas itself. A coincidence? Maybe. But to the scientists at Harvard's astrophysics division, the synchronization looked less like chance and more like a signal. And so, the question began to echo through every conference room, every observatory, and every late-night discussion among physicists and engineers. What exactly is 3Atlas? Is it just an interstellar comet, a frozen relic from a distant star system? Or could it be something far beyond our current understanding, something constructed? The last time humanity faced a mystery of this magnitude was with Oumuamua, the very first interstellar visitor detected back in 2017. It tumbled through space in ways no natural object should, reflecting sunlight in strange geometric patterns. Back then, Harvard's own Dr. Avi Loeb dared to suggest it might not be natural at all, perhaps even a fragment of alien technology. He was criticized, dismissed, even ridiculed for it. But as the years passed, the evidence kept piling up making his theory harder and harder to ignore. And now, the arrival of 3i Atlas with its fleet of synchronized escorts has forced the entire scientific community to revisit that unthinkable possibility. NASA ES official statement tried to maintain a sense of calm. We are observing an unprecedented clustering event. There is no immediate threat to Earth. But leaked internal reports told a much different story. Orbital calculations showed that the 4,000 accompanying meteors are on a trajectory that will intersect Earth's orbital path in just a few months. If even a fraction of them hold together, we could witness the largest meteor storm in recorded history, or something far worse. But there's something even more unnerving. When NASA adjusted their sensors to monitor the empty space behind 3i Atlas, they discovered faint electromagnetic disturbances, echoes of signals that simply shouldn't be there. It's as if the object isn't just moving, it's communicating. And just as the world began to process this revelation, Harvard released a statement of their own, brief, cryptic, and deeply unsettling. We are observing behavior inconsistent with known natural phenomena. The implication was clear. If the patterns weren't random, if the synchronization wasn't a coincidence, then what is guiding these meteors? And perhaps the more frightening question is, why are they coming here? 
In the days that followed Harvard's warning, a strange palpable unease spread throughout the scientific world. Every telescope powerful enough to see it was pointed at 3i Atlas, and every computer model was recalculated again and again. Yet, no matter how they tweaked the data, the result remained the same. The swarm was accelerating. At first, analysts thought solar radiation pressure might be pushing the fragments forward, but the acceleration wasn't random. It was perfectly coordinated. Every cluster of meteors was adjusting its trajectory in unison, as if responding to a silent command. NASA engineers even compared the readings to flocking algorithms, the kind of code used in artificial intelligence to simulate coordinated movement. Only this time the choreography wasn't digital. It was happening for real in the cold vacuum of space. By now the story had leaked to the public. Hashtags flooded social media, news anchors spoke in carefully measured tones, and governments issued rehearsed reassurances. But behind closed doors, astrophysicists were facing a terrifying realization. The swarm's new, faster velocity meant its projected intersection with Earth had moved closer, weeks closer. Meanwhile, data from the James Webb Space Telescope revealed something that had been previously hidden. A thin, shimmering envelope surrounding 3i Atlas, glowing faintly in the infrared spectrum. Some described it as a halo of ionized dust. Others, however, noted that this field appeared to fluctuate in rhythmic pulses, identical to the ones seen in the smaller meteor escorts. This was no random cloud. It looked engineered. In a private memo later leaked to journalists, Harvard's Dr. Lena Ayers wrote, We are no longer observing a passive object. 3i Atlas exhibits controlled energy modulation consistent with power regulation, not natural reflection. In simpler terms, it might be alive, or at the very least, active. NASA convened an emergency meeting between its Planetary Defense Office and the White House Science Council. The discussion centered on a single sobering question. If this swarm reached Earth's vicinity, what could we do? Could we intercept it, deflect it, communicate with it? Every scenario ended the same way. We can only observe but even observing was becoming difficult. Suddenly, communication relays from two deep space probes began experiencing heavy interference. Data packets came back scrambled, images corrupted by static bursts that were patterned in sequences of prime numbers, sequences eerily similar to the ones first detected around 3i Atlas. Someone, or something, was replying. As the anomaly drew nearer, meteor activity on Earth began to spike. The night skies over the southern hemisphere erupted in streaks of blue and green fire. Amateur astronomers reported fragments breaking apart high in the atmosphere, fragments carrying traces of unknown isotopes, unlike anything ever cataloged. The coincidence was too perfect. Pieces of the swarm were already here. For the first time, NASA and Harvard issued a joint press statement. Current observations indicate that the 3i Atlas formation represents an event of interstellar origin and extraordinary complexity. Continuous monitoring is underway. They didn't say it out loud, but the subtext was unmistakable. Prepare for the unknown. Across observatories worldwide, scientists debated possibilities that once belonged only to science fiction. Could the swarm be an ancient message? A data cloud traveling through space and time? Or a sophisticated probe? deploying micro-objects to gather information. Some even speculated that 3i Atlas wasn't a comet at all, but the core of a much larger construct, a carrier, dispersing fragments like seeds into different solar systems. Then, late one evening, a deep space sensor array in Chile captured a transmission coming directly from the leading edge of the swarm. It was short, precise, and impossibly structured a triad of tones repeating at the exact same frequency as Earth's own magnetic resonance. In other words, it was tuned to us. NASA's analysts ran the signal through every decoding algorithm they had. Nothing made sense. It wasn't language, it wasn't code, and it wasn't random noise. Yet, it felt intentional, like a beckoning call, or perhaps a warning. Harvard's final assessment, delivered quietly to a handful of global officials read only this. Trajectory confirmed. 
Estimated proximity within 0.03 AU. Expected visual onset visible to the naked eye within 10 days. And with that, the world looked up once more. The night sky had changed. It was no longer a calm, familiar ocean of stars, but a living current, carrying a message from the deep, dark space between galaxies. Is it a natural phenomenon? A silent messenger from another civilization? Or a mirror being held up to humanity itself? No one can say for certain. But one truth echoed through every observatory and every restless mind watching the heavens. Something is coming with Three Eye Atlas, and whatever it is, it's already on its way. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey to the edge of science. If this story captivated you, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss our next exploration into the unknown. Stay curious.